everybody. Good morning. We are going to start today by talking about um, introvert and extrovert experiences and how they drive each other crazy. What? <laughs> what? We'll I drive you that. crazy? Of course, I don't drive you crazy. Oh, okay. no, you don't <laughs> I am Susan Sia, CEO and founder of the COA Club. And I'm Brad Kruger. I'm founder of Success Beyond Luck and the Introvert Friendly Network. Yes, I forgot to say that I'm obviously the extrovert here. Yeah. Pause. Pause. The introvert. <laughs> introvert. That's right. So we we have a lot of great conversations around how introvert and extroverts are so different in a number of ways. But you know, um, but there's a lot of things that we can learn from one another. Mm -hmm. um, but there are things that obviously drive us crazy in term because they are so we are so different from one another in certain ways. So I'll put you on the spot and ask you, what is it about? extrovert not me but extrovert oh, yeah. that drives you crazy <laughs> all other extroverts yes oh my goodness. All Let's, minus me i'm just gonna open the floodgates here i've just been <laughs> you know this is we're on the couch and i'm just gonna let loose and let the That's you know right. we're in therapy session <laughs> I, I you know i can't speak for all introverts obviously and this is just my own personal experience i have a lot of friends that are extroverts believe it or not and uh, I would say some extroverts are just more conscious of that introverts exist and they have just different communication styles. Mm -hmm. Some extroverts, I have, you know, no kidding, been on phone conversations that last more than an hour. And I probably said, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm, that's great. And probably the whole time. And that's the only, you know, I've said it's just been a continuous, almost like being in a lecture. But it's not a lecture, it's just, it's not really a conversation and, and the it, whole time were you thinking like i wish i can just end this conversation well no not, not necessarily okay. i mean that's a great question because for one thing an introvert it's kind of nice to have someone carry the conversation because it's i can kind of you know save my energy okay this is pretty easy <laughs> but at a certain they point it's like eat it too, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's like okay i've had enough i've i've ex i've absorbed i've i've paid you know I'm, i've paid attention close attention i'm not zoned out from this conversation and i'm done but if there's no pause, it's kind of hard to break from the conversation. Mm -hmm. So I, say, I would say a pet peeve for me is just um, realizing that there are different communication styles and that I, for example, and I swear I'll let you talk in a moment, <laughs> this is expert. I, I have uh, a lot to say. <laughs> yes. I will try to, and I think this is human communication, mm -hmm. to match someone's speed and cadence. Mm -hmm. And that's just normal uh, how our brains work, trying mm -hmm. to mirror the other, other mm -hmm. person's body language. But I can only do that so long. So I will ramp up my energy, like I am right now, mm -hmm. to be more extroverted. Uh, and extrovert but you are extrovert. No, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that before. And I can do that only so long. But extroverts that are in the know were like, okay. Yeah, he's got a limit to it. He's bringing mm -hmm. it, but he, he can't do this forever. That's right. And I think it's really, as what you said, it's really important to understand. It is very helpful if you're talking to a colleague, a boss, a client uh, who are very different from you. You cannot have the mm -hmm. expectation that they're just going to be like you. Sometimes it will exhaust them. As mm -hmm. you said, if, if you're talking to an ex introvert, um, that you are um, just sucking your energy from them after a while because you know they lose the yeah. attention and also the fact is that you just need to be and give them space give them space right so because i think introverts needs time to absorb all the information being given to them recharge. and then recharge and then yeah. you know and think over all the stuff that's been provided to them which the flip lines. side of that is that they're giving you full attention typically mm -hmm. so they're trying for deeper conversations where maybe somebody might just be okay i'll just tune you out and i'll just wait that's right that's <laughs> Introverts right tend to hone in and really uh, absorb and be and and be in right exactly and that's why probably that's why it exhausts you after a while because you are trying to focus a hundred percent hundred ten percent the entire time that yeah. an extrovert is talking or trying to talk in this now tell me what is the pet peeve for about introverts <laughs> we've talked about my pet peeves okay you got to bring it on what's your I pet peeve about introverts I don't, I don't know it's about for all extroverts and um, regarding all introverts obviously um, but one pet peeve for me is when um, an extrovert seems to be taking their own sweet time <laughs> in interacting with what I've just said. You mean an introvert you know? does? Yeah in, in yeah. a way like if I am an extrovert and I'm having a conversation with uh -huh. you and uh, I um. and I feel that you are not 
maybe engaging with me in engaging in a way I'm I'm used to engaging with other people, right? Because as you said, I am mm-hmm. my、uh, lens from it is that if a person is interested in what I'm saying, they're going to be all excited about it. And 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 again,、yeah. as you said, you are in the beginning, you are tr- doing your best to try to be that way, right? Because you try to mirror who the. The way the introvert, whoever the person that you're talking yeah, to, which language, is important, the speed. yeah. But after a while, you start to withdraw in、mm-hmm. a sense because it's too much, right?、Mm-hmm. And then for an extrovert、um, who may not understand why this person is withdrawing in that way, thinking that maybe this person is just really not interested in what I'm trying to say. Antisocial, maybe. Yeah, kind, exactly. Okay, yeah. And, and in a way, so it doesn't necessarily means that they're not interested in what you're saying or that I'm saying. Uh, but that I need to understand that that is, the, understand the the whole idea that introverts maybe just need,、um, you know, more space and more time and not be so much on them, so quickly、mm-hmm. and so much, right?、Mm-hmm. So the pet peeve would be, I guess I don't know if it's a pet peeve, but really if if、uh, somebody I'm talking to that's an introvert isn't giving me. Um, interaction back, meeting, halfway, meeting me halfway, or at、right. least、yeah. they seem like they are not interested because I'm not getting the, the same type of energy back.、Yeah. I might be like, okay, why is that? Why is the case? You know, and and so that drives me a little bit crazy. Seems we were describing the same thing because、yeah. for me, it's the super extroverts that are not conscious of the introvert、yeah. need, and and you're kind of describing introvert that just does not want to meet you halfway, halfway and bring、yeah. some energy and. So that reward of meeting someone and and、that's、there's、right. a dance that has to happen. That's right. That's right. On both、uh, sides. Yeah. That's right.、Yeah. And it's so interesting that I think that having these conversations are great because it you know for extroverts、uh, like me it helps me to understand that、uh, maybe it's just not nothing to do with the content of what I'm saying. It's just、mm-hmm. the way I'm approaching it is、mm-hmm. just not the way that it will be most viable for this conversation. Right.、Uh, and not take it personally. Uh, in that sense, and、uh, sure. and really just try to find a middle ground, and always think about like, okay, what is this person like in the、mm-hmm. first place? I, I think it's and how would you? Okay, so I'm gonna take a step back and ask you, how would somebody know if the other person is an introvert or an extrovert? I mean, clearly, if somebody is extrovert, I think for the most part we can tell somebody is an extrovert. But how sometimes people are borderline. Like, how do you know? I don't think you really do because just how people will amp up their body language to to mirror other people in certain situations,、yeah. they may totally be appear to be extroverted. So it, it's almost asking them what do they do in their free time or how do they、mm-hmm. recharge? Because you. As an extrovert, I'm put words in your mouth. So, but you can recharge while networking, probably. Cause、mm-hmm. You get an energy from that. An, act, an introvert would say, "No, I need. To, I can do this for a little while, and I need to go、uh, have some quiet time."、Okay. Uh, would would I would I would. Think, yeah, like for example, <laughs> I always thought until you told me that you were an introvert, I always thought you were an extrovert because、mm. of the way we met and because you had that intention that day to be uh, to、mm-hmm. really. Talk to me and inter- because you wanted to do some additional networking, and therefore、yep. you were open to me, and you met me at the energy level that I was at. Yeah, I, re- I put full force. That's、uh, right. All energy I had. <laughs> so I did not know that when you went home, you probably like pass out. <laughs> Way too much、uh, and, and socializing with me. But but how, I think that、um, do you think it would be offensive if you met somebody and you said. Hey, you know, I'm, you know, say something to the fact that hey,、uh, I am, you know,、um, an extrovert. If I come across too, too、um, strong in what I'm saying or too much for you, let me know. And then not asking them if they were introvert or extrovert, but just laying out there that this is who I am. And then them would most people would probably offer immediately say that hey, you know, I'm an introvert or I'm just like you, an extrovert. And then that will at least. Give you a lens to what is it that they're where is it that they're coming from and work from there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just along with, like what you said in one of our past videos on networking as being curious in people、mm-hmm. and expressing that curiosity in maybe more than one style. Yeah.、Uh, in I know you hate the pause, but if you you know if if someone is not really、uh, talking too much of you know asking a question and pausing、yeah. silences can be okay. And if they really don't talk, or still, you know, that may bring people out of their shell and make a more of an inclusive environment for them that they might start talking about the time to think about what they want to say.、Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, 
and that that might be helpful. So just kind of being trying to be inclusive there. That's so right. the same way introverts are, I think, trying to be inclusive of extroverts by bringing extra energy to the conversation and matching the speed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's extroverts being willing to slow down. And, uh, right. That's right. Same way. That's right. And and not having to feel like you need to feel every silence and you know. I know that's hard. The, <laughs> I know it's hard. Pause, as you say it, you know. And so, what do you do during the pause? I don't know. <laughs> Twiddle my thumb. I don't know. Elevator when is music. This, when is know. this person going to start talking? When do I have to start saying something? <laughs> you know, holding myself back. I think that's a, le a, a, a thing that will be really good for yeah. me as an extrovert yep. to learn how to hold myself back. And I think that's a good skill to learn from what, an introvert. Yes. Whatever you do, I've had this happen, just don't interrogate the person. So some people will take that and they'll just fire another question and <laughs> sit there and pause and then fire another question and sit there and pause. It's like, what do you am, mean? I, am I being interrogated or what? something? It's like uh, without enough pause for them to ask you a question. Allow, allow space for them to ask you a question. That's okay. right. So that's yeah. right. Be, 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 I think just be, um, you know, uh, Conscientious of what the other yeah. person uh, is just you know just in general yeah you know and sometimes it may not work yeah. just, communication styles but whatever just may not work and there's many people out there right That's so right. we 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 try our best and have best intention intentions and mm -hmm. and uh, and try to be inclusive as possible and I think and, that's important that's yeah. right that's Do right. Our best. That's right. Well, I don't know if we went into too much pet peeves. I mean, you've mentioned one, I mentioned one. I'm sure we have other, is, you know, I don't know. Um, I can't think of too many pet peeves, you know. It's just a matter, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's just a matter of, I think, adjusting to uh, the style of the other person yeah. and understanding, uh, you know, how they, you know, what drives them and what is their... Um, how they behave. I've thought one other quick pet peeve. Oh no. I'm gonna throw it in. <laughs> oh no, it I don't want to know. <laughs> it, it's uh, extroverts uh, sort of assuming introverts are incapable or, or you know saying are antisocial and I think the opposite of introverts assuming that extroverts don't care about anybody. They just mm -hmm. want to talk. Yeah. It's those stereotypes. Those would be my pet peeves. Yes, so I, I totally agree. That that, would, that, be. that would be my pet peeve too. Because you should yeah. never stereotype. Because everybody is different, uh, and and it doesn't mean that just because you're an introvert you are a certain way, and yeah. just because you're an extrovert a certain way. I think what we're trying to do with these conversations is just letting people know that you know understanding what mm -hmm. drives each of us yep. you know being an extrovert or introvert but it doesn't mean that just because you're introvert i should think that you're shy you're not shy right. you know uh and then just because i'm an extrovert doesn't mean i'm a loud mouth right right i mean I maybe sometimes i am but that's oh. besides the point but the point is that it is not necessarily to mean one thing only as an introvert or extrovert yeah. So with that, I think we are done with the conversation yeah. for today. And that if you like what we have to say in this video series, uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. If, we also love to hear what comments that you might have on this subject. If you have a specific pet peeve about, you know, if you're an extrovert, introvert about the other side, um, be kind to each other though. So whatever comments you put, please be yeah. kind to the other person, uh, the other side. And uh, please add to the comments below. And then until next time we'll talk some some more on this series thank you thank bye you.